told you. Coach Hood! Coach Hood being erected. Two new blocks. All right, everyone, we're getting ready to get started with some Monday Night Football JV variety. We Wildcats are facing the Rossview Hawks at Rossview's home stadium. So a little bit of uh, shared responsibilities this week. Uh, of course, the Wildcats hosted Rossview last Friday and this, uh, this Monday here today, Rossview is returning the favor. A beautiful night again for for football. Pretty warm, low uh, low 80s, high 70s uh, here at kickoff. It's supposed to cool off as we go through the evening. So the podcast will be receiving the opening kickoff. Pick up about 15 on the return. Hawk has to be setting up shop on the 40. Initial run on the far side. Christian takes it for a pickup of 11. It's a good start to the game. Christian, clearly, big guy doing some tough running. Caden back in the shotgun. He's looking to pass on the second play. Looks like he finds uh, Keaton a little flare out. It's going to be a pickup of four. Bring up second and six. going to be enough for a first. So Wildcats on the move. Oh. Man, that's a bad, bad spot. So pick up a four. Instead of the five or six that was needed. It's going to be third and one. Expect to see a handoff up the middle just to pick up the one to keep the chains moving. And that's what they do. 
Moving down to the first down. So first and ten down to the thirty five. Okay, looking to pass again. Uh, that one's a little too much. Pass is incomplete. So of the eight minute quarter, we're already down to five minutes and 44 seconds left to go. Clock stopped with the incomplete pass. Jaden Sharp got again, hands off. Find some room. Jaden may be able to play. It's going to be pretty close and, in fact, enough for a first down. So right at the 25-yard line, another set of downs. Gave him looking to throw again. Ooh. Just off the fingertips of his intended receiver. Pass is incomplete. It'll be second and ten for Wildcats. Had a step onto the defender, but not able to reel it in. Second and ten now from the 25. Slings it out to the far side. Let's see what I spotted. I think that's Avari. Uh, again, don't have a roster as they hand out jerseys uh, just prior to the game, and so sometimes the uh, numbers move around, so they don't have an official uh, roster to hand out. But another good pickup there. Uh, pick up about seven on first down. Oh, sorry. I that was a uh, second down there, but regardless, uh, what a good run on the near side. Found some space. So they'll be setting up shop with first and goal from the eight. Again from the shotgun. One no, two receivers wide out. And off of the middle though, just pushing through and finds the end zone. So I look at the uh, replay there. Impressive opening drive by the Wildcats just to drive down the field and make their way to the end zone. A uh, good mix of rush and pass. So Clarksville lines up to go for two. Kane's drum back, looking for a pass. He holds it. Oh, nice. Defender stepped in front of the pass and had an opportunity to make an interception there on the two point attempt, but went just past him into the hands of the receiver and uh, results in a two point conversion. You can see just the end of the play there on the replay. Um, just not able to quite get there in time to make a play. So with that, it'll be uh, eight to zero after the opening drive. Quick reminder. 
the sessions are open. Hot dogs, drinks, chips, candy. And I hear they have good pickles out there, so you might as well go check out the Rossi Hawks concession stand. So the kickoff, um, Rossi will be starting their opening drive from the 25. Three minutes, 51 seconds left to go in the opening quarter. Extra player running off the field. Rossi starting with two wide outs and one back in the backfield, handoff to that back, but not a lot doing. Maybe a game one or two would spot it. As uh, Clarksville sniffed that out. So they are going to mark that with no gain. It'll be second to ten. Time now, Hawks. They're first on the half. Time out for us, Hugh. Three minutes and 13 seconds left to go in the opening quarter. Receivers on the wide, on the near side, tight end going in motion, moving around, roll out to the near side, and a little curl route coming back. Picks up 10, 11. It's a good, uh, good route running there to uh, get some space and, and get open. Serving the technical difficulty. It'll be first down, Rossview. Catch made by Cameron Bailey. So the fresh out of bounds. Ross Hughes starting coming near side. Gets across the 40. Maybe up to the 42. Be second and four. Oh my god. Oh, they got single digits? Oh, so, handoff goes to the far side, but um, not a whole lot going on there. It's going to be a pickup of a couple. Stops the line of scrimmage. It'll be third down for the Hawks. Third and four, it looks like. Kind of a critical down already here early in the game, setting the tone. Let's see if the uh, Wildcats can get a stop and force a punt. It's going to be a quarterback run coming near side. He's going to have enough. 
for the first as he gets tackled right on midfield. So he needed four. And he picked up about eight. Where's the cowbell at? Thank you. Now exactly at midfield. Well, she's picked up 25 yards already in this drive. Good, good mix, just like the Wildcats of run and pass. Handoff on the inside. It's going to be a pickup about four. second and six. We're under a minute to go left in the opening quarter. Let's see if Rossview gets one more playoff before the quarter expires. So they're lined up intending to. Well, they do, another handoff underneath. Find some space. Good pick up by Rossview, but um, really what made that play was a good block by the receiver on the outside to hold one of our defensive backs at bay. So the Crossview Hawks have moved all the way down to the 27, 28. So we'll be switching sides of the field. Good, good, a good, uh, good drive for the Hawks so far. Here we go, getting the second quarter started. So still in the first possession for Rossview. Two wideouts near side, get some motion. Quarterback's rolling to the right, looking for a pass. He does find the receiver open. Somehow the uh, defensive back lost the coverage. So I'll put Rossview all the way down to the 15. So now in the red zone. With a fresh set of downs. The 14 yard line. One receiver way out to the far side of the field and one to the near side, one back in the backfield. Looks like they're trying to do a hard count and then a change of play. So. So, full start. By the offense. Full start by Rossview. I'm moving back five. Moving back to the 19. So, it's still technically in the red zone. But, five more yards to go. First and 15. It looks like they're trying to do a hard count to draw Clarksville offsides, but went the other way that time. A little jumpy. Ball coming near side. A lot of folks flying around there, but uh, it's going to be a pickup of five. Back down to the original line of scrimmage. 
So it'll be second and ten. So trying to go to the far side. It's going to pick up about four on the play, down to the ten yard line. Looks like a run of three. Let's see where they spot it. Be third and third and six, six and a half, maybe seven. But this is definitely four down territory, um, especially already being down by eight. Oh, that's going to be a, probably a horse collar penalty. I did not see a penalty flag on the play though. Uh, Not sure, maybe there's a little bit of distinction and they grab the jersey uh, all around the shoulder pad versus directly behind the collar, perhaps. I, I'm not sure why that wasn't called a horse collar, but regardless, uh, we're, we're moving on. Fourth down, about fourth and three. So, so uh, Wildcats, uh, so that hard count eventually did work, and it's going to be enough for uh, first down. So now the ball is placed on the five yard line, It'll be first and goal. The four yard line. So Ross you still with two wide receivers. Wide out on the far side. It's gonna be a quarterback keeper though. It's gonna pick up a couple. But not in the end zone. Okay. Second and two. With goal to go. It's been a long drive. Quarterback keeper again, and he leaves the way in. For the Quarterback just kind of patiently waited for a hole to develop and stepped his way through. Rolling out to the near side, looking for options. And no options on the throw. And forced out. So good coverage by the defense. That's one of those coverage sacks, if you will, on a two-point conversion. Nowhere for the quarterback to go and tried to run, but still a lot of bodies over there to have to get through. So that will uh, have the Wildcats receiving the kickoff with only four minutes and 22 seconds left to go in the half. So two long drives for each team resulting in points uh, have consumed almost the entire first half. Oh, 
So that was uh, Keaton Anderson on the return. He makes his way up to the 30. Well, Cats will set up shop there with first and 10 and 4.15 left to go in the half. We need to move the ball a little bit quicker than the last drive in order to make something happen before halftime. Another shotgun, handoff. Nice pickup on first down. It's going to be enough for another first, moving the chains. Again to the far side. Second down and three and a half. Another play, same play. Enough for a first. Move the chains. Clock start stops temporarily. Wildcats now up to the 46 in Rossview territory. Clock is running. And throw and that should be pass interference. I think the uh, Clarks, Clarksville fans are letting the refs have it as that was clearly um, pass interference call. We up second and ten. But it did stop the clock. That was a great hard running there. I mean, that was, I don't know, eight yards after contact. Didn't see who that was. That was perhaps Bryson on that play. Looking for a pass. Oh, nice. Number nine, route. Good route, good uh, opportunity for the receiver to be there. Just couldn't quite reel it in as he had to lay out to get to it on the sideline. So again, second and 10 with an incomplete pass. Far side, short side of the field. Gonna be a penalty flag on the field. Looking for the white hat to give us a call. Looks like it's on the Wildcats. Personal foul. Personal foul for the Wildcats. Yeah, not sure. Not sure what the actual foul was, but uh, pretty significant as it moves the Wildcats back 
quite a bit. 15 yard penalty. It's basically second and 20 at this point. Caden sends one downfield that hits his receiver in stride. So good job. Again, I think that was Keaton on the reception. Let's see the replay. So nice job of Caden finding the receiver. Keaton getting a step on his uh, defender. And Caden hitting him in stride. So way to make up for that 15-yard uh, penalty. A minute 35 left to go. Handoff. And there's a scrum trying to push him forward. It's going to be second and goal at the four. Okay, where the handoff. And, and that's going to be enough for a touchdown. So with that, ball gets go ahead. 14 to 6. And we'll look to add two more. Kane's looking for a pass, and again, finds the receiver. And again, it's Keaton again. So we'll add two more. 16 to six. Just 54 seconds left to go in the quarter. 54 seconds left to go in the half. And Clark's still up by 10. Let's see what uh, Clarksville decides to do on the kickoff. If they're gonna give it a pooch kick or something just to minimize the chance of a uh, return. Gonna go deep. Oh, no, we'll see. this way to uh, up back for the Hawks. It's going to bring it back to the 40. With 50.3 seconds left to go. Oh, she's going to have to be aggressive in the pass game here to be able to score some points before the half. Although Rossview will receive the ball in the second half as they deferred. It'll be first and ten on the 40 yard line. It's a friend shotgun. They do come out throwing. Finds a receiver that was open near the 50 yard line, but the ball ends up on the ground and it's called incomplete. It'll be second down 
only took uh, five seconds off the clock, second and ten still, again from the 40. Again with the pass, lots of time, sends it deep downfield, but it's intercepted. Again, that's, uh, that's Keaton on the interception. So Keaton seems to be catching everything that's in the in the air out there today. Just uh, playing uh, center field like he does for the baseball team, and in the right place at the right time to uh, to come up with the catch. So good job there to uh, end the end the threat of the Hawks scoring here before halftime. So now with 29.7 seconds left to go before half, we'll see if um, Clarksville tries to press the issue and move the ball downfield. They'll be starting from the 25. Um, oh, flea flicker. Oh. So, Crossview returns the favor and uh, takes off the ball right back. So, back to back turnovers. Intercepts the ball. By number three's amazing pass to the Rossi Hawks. 21.9 seconds left to go. So the, that flea flicker, um, it was a good setup. Uh, there was a receiver streaking down the field, but just a little too much, and the Rossview defensive back was running along with him and even had a step on him. So good job by the Wildcats to turn over and play defense there. So ball coming to the near side. It's going to be a flag on the play that's back in the backfield. It's going to hold it on the Hawks, so all of that for not. Hard collision on the near side as our, uh, one of our safeties came up and uh, made good, solid contact with the running back. So full on, two young men sprinting at each other, sort of collision. But um, again, all for nothing as there was a holding call on the play. So it's going to back the uh, back the Hawks up to the 27-yard line. It's going to be about um, first and 18 as they replay the down. So they'll be passing again with less than 20 seconds left to go in the game and almost another interception. That one was uh, just knocked down. So now less than 10 seconds to go. Third and 18, 17, something like that. So handoff underneath. So just trying to catch the Wildcats off guard. Um, just to run out the clock, and that's what's going to happen. So that's the end of the half. Clarksville is going to go into the locker room ahead 16 to 6. Oh, 
Este, ¿Qué pasó ahí? Que no tienen que estar más agitados. Ah, que tiramos la bola hasta acá, pero lo hicimos todo el tiempo. Pero nosotros ponemos la bola y la perdimos, todavía la tenemos. Sí, no, 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 no.
So here we go, starting the third quarter. Three seconds into the third quarter on the kickoff. Rossi will be starting from the 25, first and 10.
So we ended the first half with a couple of turnovers going back and forth. And, but the first drives for each team resulted in, in touchdowns. So we'll see if uh, Rossview returns to form with their first possession of the second half. So option that results in not uh, giving the handoff and the quarterback decides to keep it. Good job. Good job for the Wildcats uh, rolling out and getting out for a loss of one on the play. So moves them back to the 25. I guess they were originally starting at the 26 after the kickoff. Second down and 11. A couple of wide receivers, one back in the backfield. Handoff underneath. Comes near side. It's going to pick up uh, about five on the play. Victor Rivera on the carry. Uh, maybe six. So it'll be third down and four. Third down and five. So Rossfield look to uh, keep this drive going. See what they're going to do. They're going to pass. With the receiver over the middle. Beautiful catch by number 83, Kenan Brather. So the receiver kind of got lost there in the secondary and uh, was fairly wide open, easy pitch and catch to keep the ball moving. So that goes all the way down to the Clarksville 42 with a fresh shot of downs. Weaving getting well, through the line, there's a flag, the but I'm thinking that might be on Clarksville. Um, uh, let's see. They threw all the flags in the same general vicinity, face mask on face mask Clarksville. So when the flags were thrown, it looked like Clarksville almost stopped. That's a first down! So definitely, uh, just because the flags are thrown, you don't need to stop because being on Clarksville, there's a big pickup on the play. And that's going to put the ball all the way down on the four-yard line after the result of the play, plus the penalty. So now Rossview set up with really good field possession. Double receivers stacked on the right side. But try to go with the quarterback seat, but does not make any progress. In fact, it's going to be a loss on the play. So what was on the four is going to move the ball back to the 10 with the sack. Now it's going to be uh, first thing or second and goal from the 10. That <coughs> trip's on the left. Quarterback rolling. Looks like he was looking for the option to throw it down. Didn't go past the line of. Grimmage and just kind of get rid of it after the defenders were crashing on the quarterback. So that that's going to be third and goal from around the two. Quarterback coming over to get the play. Third and goal again, definitely four down territory here as the Hawks need need multiple scores to catch up at this point. Quarterback sneak, find some space around the end. Uh, fumble the ball. 
So he fumbles the ball as he goes across the end zone. At least he thought that it was close enough where the quarterback needed to recover the ball. Uh, but they had already given the sign by then that it was a touchdown. So pretty close to getting across the line by the time he fumbled. But uh, in any case, it's good enough to move the score up to 16-12. to 12. It's going to be offsides. Oh, there they go. By the by the defense, has this to the goal line. So, really, the Rossi quarterback's doing it every time by clapping and doing all the head movement and all the things to try and draw them off sides. And it's worked a couple of times now. So, half the distance is only going to pick up a yard or so, but. Sell that much closer for the two point attempt. Last few calls. Time out. Well, we have this time here. Not sure. Remember, fans, the concession stand is open. Saw that they did not like it. Maybe a hot dog, maybe a pickle, maybe some chips or a drink before they all run out. Clearly, the Hawks coach did not see something, or saw something he did not like, and uh, is having a word with his players. see here um, what's unusual about this age of sports just the difference in size of some of the boys out there young man number it's like number seven out there is just one of their wide receivers is completely different physically built than the rest of the boys on the team so um, anyway interesting how all the boys are at that age where some are hit the growth sport and some haven't. So, uh, play here to try and run up the middle, but it's going to be no good. So, again, for the second time tonight, Rossview tries for two, but it's not able to get it done. And um, we'll be going to the kickoff with. Clarks failed to receive with four minutes and 13 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Let's score 16 to 12. Received around the 15, picking his way through the coverage. Stop on the 40 yard line. Uh, all the way up to the 38 yard line. I'm 
So far today, the Wildcats have been having a pretty good mix of run pass. Gonna go run near side, Just finding some space. Uh, no real contact until well into the secondary. Wildcats on the ball in the 49 yard line. So pickup of 14 on the play. Into Rossview territory at their 48. And off, breaking tackles. Again, I can't be sure, but I think that's Avari making his way all the way down to the 32 yard line for another first down. So, as I was just talking about, a good mix of run and pass uh, runs exclusively so far on this drive. Tayden kept it there on an option. Kept it all the way out, uh, past the line of scrimmage before he shuffled it out to Bryson. So good pickup of, let's say, seven on the play. Second and three. Hard running, carrying some tacklers with him. It's going to go down to the 15, enough for a first down. And off going far side, and that's going to be enough for a touchdown. So Clarksville comes down and immediately answers after the Hawks score down, come down and score on their first drive of the half. So we'll push the score up to 22 to 12. I think that was Bryson on the carry for the touchdown with two minutes and 25 seconds left to go in the third. If the Wildcats are able to score here, and that'll push the lead up to 12. A nice route, little little curl route on the far side. Again with uh, Keaton on the route and the catch. So good job there, just curling out and finding the front corner of the end zone to, to stop and Caden anticipating the route and threw it where he was going to be. So two more for the Wildcats. So after the kickoff, um, Hawks will be starting from their 37.
two minutes and 19 seconds left to go in the third. So pass, rolling out near side, just beyond the outstretched hands of the receiver. Number five, the intended receiver. Second ten. Chasing down quarterback, and he is going to get sacked. So good job there with uh, pursuit and keeping after it as the quarterback was rolling out near side. It'll be third down on the 37-yard line. So that will be third and 15. Again, looking for the pass. Going to the deep ball. And, uh, That's number seven, Aiden Taylor, with the catch at the 20 yard line. So, big time uh, throw and catch there. And again, that number seven was the one I was talking about before, but clearly a lot of speed and athletic ability for that young man. Beautiful pass by number nine, Becca Hazelhoon. So that will set uh, Rossview up with a first and ten from the 20. <laughs> Quarterback sneak. This is not a intended pass. Sneak all the way. It's going to pick up a couple on the play. Definitely no hesitation there to sprint out to the right side as a running back. You're only going to be a pickup of a couple. A second and eight. It's getting close to the expiration of the third period. 35 seconds left to go. Fake handoff inside, quarterback keeper. He's tackled on the far side. It's gonna be about third and six. Pick up of another couple. So Rossville officially in the red zone. That's going to be the end of the third quarter as they're on the sideline letting the time expire. So we'll switch into the field and start with the last quarter with Clarksville up 24 to 12. Mr. Archibald, when does the concession stay closed? Five minutes. Five minutes. Fans, we've got the five minute warning for the concession stand. Make sure you can buy all you can get before they close.
Right, here we go, starting the fourth quarter. Rossview threatening inside the 20. Hmm. Not sure what happened there. Um, that was tipped or somehow missed, just got out of the hands of the quarterback awkwardly. But, uh, not a good throw. And that'll bring up fourth down. So something like fourth and eight from the 19. So Rossview sends a player off. Rolling out to the right, looking to throw. Player comes back, but falls down after catching the ball. So that'll be a turnover on downs. Uh, just outside the 10 yard line. Catch is made, but it's still a turnover on downs. So it's seven minutes, 48 seconds left to go in the game. Carswell will be starting deep in their own territory. And off on the far side, lots of room, big run. So what started out around the 12 yard line is gonna be moved all the way up to the 42. So something like 30 yard gain. Really no contact until well into the secondary. So Keaton's dropping back to pass, or sorry, Caden's dropping back to pass. Um, but too much for the receiver to handle. So bring up second and 10 from the 40. And off of the middle. Third and seven. Another handoff of the middle, looking for some space, and he's going to have enough for the first down. So he gets into Hawk territory down to the 45. Ball to the Hawks 45. So a good pickup of 12 there, where he needed something like seven or eight. Person 10. Another handoff. Uh, this one broke through the line, actually lost track of who had the ball. Caden kept it, whereas um, I thought that he had handed it off. So good, uh, good fake there that even, even got me fooled. So Caden found some space and uh, had a good pickup, enough for another first down. Caden in shotgun, looking to pass now. It goes out in the flat over here. Uh, broken tackle, oh, fumble, ball's on the ground. Ball's down, ball's down! The Hawks have it, the Hawks have it! Looks like that's gonna be a turnover. There's a flag on the plate too. So 
just let's see. Yeah. Fighting for yards, helmet on the ball. Amazing stuff. What a defense. Battle for the ball, but it looks like the Hawks are going to come up with it. So penalty on the play was against Clarksville anyway, so that of course will be declined on the turnover. So with that, it'll be. Correction on the defense. Discussion on the field, but if the penalty is in fact on the defense, it'll be Clarksville retaining possession. So that's that's the way they're calling it. Oh my gosh, there's, there. this is not inspiring confidence for the uh, opposing team here, or either team for that matter, with the referees walking in the wrong direction. So anyway, where the ball is placed at the moment, it'll be a penalty that was on Rossview and Clarksville retaining possession. So handoff around the far side to Christian. Christian's knocking kids down. Really, when Christian gets a head of steam going, it is hard to take him down. So all the way down to the two. Yeah. First down, goal to go from the one. I say I should have So keeps it and finds the end zone. It's just far enough to get across. So there was some contact right at the end zone, but he only needed a yard to get. So with that, push the score up to 30 to 12. So as a two-point conversion goes, hand off to Christian, and it is good. So now Clarksville ahead by 20 with four minutes and 58 seconds left to go in the fourth. Much an onside kick that is uh, stopped at the first line of defense for or first line of receivers for the Hawks, but uh, they do manage to cover it. So good, good hands there to uh, cover up the onside kick. So Rossi will be starting from their own 48. 
with less than five minutes left to go in the game, definitely going to have to hurry to, uh, to put some points on the board to make this game competitive again. So a quarterback run on some space on the right side of the line. It's going to pick up five on first down. Second and five. From the 48 and a half. Now into Clarksville territory. And off coming near side. It's gonna be enough for a first down, I believe, depending on depending on the spot. Oh, nope, they are not gonna give him the first. They're gonna say he's got a yard to go. Third and one with the clock running under four minutes. Design quarterback run again. He's looking for some space. Still on his feet. It's going to be enough for a first down. Clock pauses temporarily as they move the chains. So as all the Rossi players are checking their play cards on their wrists. Clock is now running again. Maybe down to three minutes by the time this play gets off. Quick throw out. Oof. So Avari anticipated that pass coming in and arrived at the same time as the ball, so no penalty, but the uh, young man attempting to receive the ball uh, definitely heard some footprints or footsteps heading his way. But it does stop the clock. Just under three minutes to go now. Second and ten. Hand off underneath. I may have find it some space, but some hard contact that he definitely paid for those five yards. Third and five. Couple of receivers stacked near side. Tiny in motion coming across. Keeper going far side in the design run. It's going to lose yards on the play. It's going to lose about three. That's going to bring up fourth and eight. Oh, maybe fourth and nine. No, fourth and, fourth and eight, the down marker was not properly placed. Fourth down, ten for the Hawks. Under two minutes now. Roll on near side, looking to pass. Sends it down the field. And uh, on the collision at the ball, their ball and was popped up in the air. There was an opportunity for both a Clarksville and a Rossview player to uh, make the catch, but uh, neither did as it went out of bounds. So with that, um, it'll be a turnover on downs 
one minute, 29 seconds left to go in the game. And Fresh should have downs for Clarksville heading the other way. We'll see what they do here. Um, if they want to run some plays or just go into victory formation. Looks like they intend on running some plays. Handoff coming near side. Run, running back in trouble, but still on his feet. So <laughs> a really good job in just uh, staying on his feet and consuming clock time and looking for some space to make some progress. He's going to lose maybe half a yard on the play, but uh, could have been a lot worse is that Hawk defense was swarming to find, uh, you know, to cover up any sort of possibility for progress on the near side. So under a minute to go now. Clarksville still running plays now. Run on the far side. It's going to be a pickup of about eight. Might build a 49 yard line. It's near. It'll be third. First down. Down. It's third down in a couple with 30 seconds left to go. And the clock quickly winding down. Maybe one more play. Under 20 seconds now. Clarksville taking their time. Maybe not going to run a play. Under 10 seconds now. They're going to let the clock expire as Cade's walking off. So that'll be the ball game. Clarksville continues their winning streak um, with a final score of 32 to 12. Until next time, we'll sign off.